the Marcos children were present as Lou was performed for Imelda's entertainment. But even after a late night out, Marcos was up the next morning to inaugurate the new Marcos Museum just beside the family mansion. In the museum were large photos of the late dictator as well as life-sized replicas that highlight Marcos's many achievements. The museum aims to remind the people of the good things Marcos did for the country. But one of the more striking exhibits is this television that plays the infamous announcement of martial law over and over again. The reason? Imelda Marcos believes that martial law and Edsa One were Ferdinand Marcos's finest moments. I only say it was the shining moment, despite of the fact that he was the most powerful man of the country at that point. And yet, when those who betrayed him, he did not hurt or destroy. I feel that he was not only a great president, he was now a mother of selfless, endless love. Imelda blames the media and political enemies for public perception that Marcos was an evil man. She also believes that the Edsa revolution did not truly reflect the voice of the people. Who oh, have never won an election? They had to proclaim a revolutionary government. But how many people were there in Edsa? One million? Ten million? That was not the most. That was not the majority. Despite facing thousands of cases of human rights abuses and billions of dollars in alleged ill-gotten wealth, the Marcos family is appealing to Filipinos to also remember the once great leadership of Ferdinand Marcos so that people will realize that they are victims of a history misunderstood. Shara Zambrano, ABS-CBN News, Batak, Ilocos Norte.